First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. Also to the Holy Black Messiah, the King of Kings, Yahweh Shah. Also to the Founding Fathers of the Truth out of One West. This fallen king is coming right back at you with this truth. The name of this class is going to be surely your turning of things upside down. Uh, we, we're in society. The days of times where everything is upside down. Our oppressors, which is the nation of Edom, have turned everything upside down. You know what I mean? Uh, further, let me get right to the scriptures. Isaiah 29, verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as the part of clay. What's one of the things that he turned upside down? Our nationality. Calling us what? Hispanics, Native Americans, black, which is, that's not our, that's not our true identity. He already turned our nationality upside down. Second verse. For shall, for shall thou work, say of, of him that made it, he made me not. This going into something else. It's talking about you can't you can't blame the Most High for making you an Israelite. He made your Israelites. He made your Israelite because he wanted to make you an Israelite. Same thing with the other nations. He made the other nations because he wanted to make them other nations. Or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it? He he have no understanding. Meaning you can't say to the Most High like why he made me a Jake. Why he made me this nation? Why he made me that, that nation? The Most High have the power and the wisdom and understanding to know who he wants to make who. You feel me? And even just because in all Israel is not Israel. You know what I mean? So, but I wanted to get to the main topic of surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as the potter's clay. Like everything is turned upside down. One of the main things turned turn upside down is the role of the man and a woman. This is book of Jeremiah, this is book of Jeremiah, Salakia, Jeremiah 31, verse 22. It says, How long will thou go, O thou backsliding daughter? Talking about the children of Israel. For the Lord hath created a new thing on the earth. A woman shall surpass, should compass a man. Now, like in today's society, you got women want to run in political office and political parties instead of wanting to be a mother, instead of wanting to be a wife, instead of wanting to be a daughter, they want to do everything else but being the role of a woman. And that's what's causing the world to be out of course. You feel me? Everything is out of place because what? The, the wicked is ruling. And the scripture says, it's in the book of Ecclesiastes or the book of Proverbs, it says, when the wicked are in authority, the people mourn. The society are mourning right now. Why? Because the wicked are, is ruling. And he turned everything upside down. And mainly our faith, our, you know, our nationality. He And what I mean by our faith, he changed this whole gospel into his own philosophy. Further ado, let me get the book of Romans chapter 1 verse 25. This is where you, this is where you got all them theological schools. And all these clergymen, clergymen, clergymen schools. And all this other nonsense is abominable. Saying color don't matter and... Saying that we all are equal, all that is blasphemy. This book of Romans chapter one verse twenty five. Who changed the truth of the Most High into the lie, into a lie? That's heavy right there. Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie? The nation of Edom, the wicked, and who worship the and serve the creature more than the Creator? And our people worship their false image more than worshiping the true image of Yahweh Shah. And, and it's a true image of his description in the Bible. It says, Judah mourning, the gates are of language, they are black into the ground. And we read Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14, for it is evidence that our Lord sprang out of Judah. So Judah description is like the ground, meaning that it's, it's a dark-skinned race, which is the so-called black, black race, which is a.k.a. is Israel. Who has changed the truth of God into a lie? Which Christianity, <clears throat> all these false religions, TD snakes and Creflo Holler and all these other blasphemy, uh, um, blasphemy preachers, you feel me? Who worship and serve the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever? Our man, which is who is blessed forever? Our man, the most high Yahweh. You hear me? He's blessed forever, our man. Because why? He's the he's the true gospel. Yahweh Shah is the true gospel. You feel me? Not no Caesar Borgia image. Not no false image. 
There is no description in the Bible saying the men of the Lord look like look like a, a, a Caucasian. It's, and I got it's it's a biblical fact that all those great men, ancient men in the Bible, came from a pigmentation of color. If you don't believe me, read the book of Genesis. When it talk give you the description of Adam. For God made man off the dust of the earth. So further don't want to go right back into this verse. I want to read over again. It says, Who changed the truth of God into the lie? Well, all these philosophies, all these doctrines. Who worship and serve the creature, the creature more than the creator? Who is blessed forever? Amen. That's why this world is so upside down. Christianity has destroyed the mind of our people. You feel me? And they they are in straight derision because they call themselves everything under the sun, but they are Israelites. And our people are praying to every false image except the true image. You feel me? So this, this is going to be a short class. Uh, this Fallen Kings call right back at you with this truth. Uh, I just want to touch on this because this is very heavy and this is destroying our people. And, you know, and another thing too, right before I close out, I want to get to scripture. One of the main things he turned upside down. I want to get this before I close out. Why the spirit on me? Oh, yeah, I want to get Revelation 3 and verse 9. It says, Behold. Okay, behold, Re Re Revelation 3, verse 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. Man, we just read the book of Romans. Who turned the truth of God into a lie? You feel me? You know what I mean? So, what? What's the biggest lies that the surfing through the planet Earth right now? That what? That that, that 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 the blacks and Hispanics are niggas in the streets and coons, you know, and all other by words. And in reality, we are the, the ancient Hebrew Israelites. You feel me? And meanwhile, the wicked of the wicked is putting themselves up as the holy ones. You feel me? And which is blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which does which, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them come and worship before thy feet to know that I have loved thee. Let know the most only dealing with the nation of Israel. That's why you go back to Genesis. I mean, back, back to Genesis. On Salakia, um, the book of Malachi, which says, Jacob have I loved and Esau have I hated. You know, for the dude, that should wrap it up. And um, to the next class, Shalom. It's Fallen Kings. Come right back at you with this truth. All honor and praise to the Most High Yahweh. It's Holy Purchase on the truth. Black Messiah, the King, King Yahweh Shah. It's Fallen Kings. Come right back at you with this truth. Fallen Kings.